Oh, for how long have I waited for this moment? Is something to happen in Star Rail, dude? Hell yeah. Hello, Internet. And I'm not even going to yap too much. I'm just going to show you the sauce. Extraterrestrial satellite communication. The Herda. Sounds like Zawamuno, but it's Herda, right? So yeah, we have the drip marketing for the up and coming character after Sunday and Fook, I assume. It will be a Herda, which the name of this person is the Herda, dude. It's not even Herda 1, no Herda 2. It's the Herda. Herda, man. The one and only, dude. <laughs> it's just so funny that your name is The Herda. It gives me like the SpongeBob The vibes. It's like that version of Herda now. But yeah, to just take a look, we all knew Herda was a doll. And like her actual body is like somewhere else and she's just controlling this doll. So I assume D Herda means that this is the actual person of Herda. In the lore, apparently Herda has unparalleled beauty, right? We see that gremlin that we usually see in the Kuru Kuru meme that we can already spot at the bottom right right here. We thought Herda is just a dumb gremlin, but now the true Herda, the Herda, looks like this. Oh my god. You got a wish hat right there. You got the same elements of purplish color, and you got the flower as well, which is, you know, standard for Herda. Looks like a gosh right magical girl with this wand right here. And let's just take a look at what this Herda is all about. The writers from the Inter Legends see a girl wanted me to give an extra title something like herd of prime to separate me from my puppets how but now whatever that means so i gave them a suggestion if they dared to write that then i would call myself the herda it's short simple straight to the point and elegant dude this is so herda this is such a herda thing to do to call yourself the herda sd member number 83 of the genus society human female young beautiful attractive this is probably written by the herda herself it said that she lives in the far edge of the cosmos almost never leaving Sounds like her appearance this time must be to deal with an issue that has to be handled herself, right? I wonder. I feel like her is the type of person that just does not want human interaction, and that's why she locks herself in the edge of the galaxy. That's D Herda for you. Is it just me or the H here has like this weird indent thing right here? This is pissing me off. It sounds like something D Herda would do to piss you off with like unaligned text. Now, with the fluff out the way, it's actually time for us to take a look at the meta in terms of this, you know, um, D Herda. Now, we have not seen anything about her this kit for sure it will have to be revealed like either through leaks or you know through official means i can't really talk about leaks so let's talk about what we know officially right d herda is a five star character so this is similar to the tingyun treatment or, or like the dan hung treatment right once you unlock a unique variant they become a five star so this should be their own separate banner we're about to get tingyun which is similar so here we have herda with the five star version right there and the interesting part is almost every single one of these like four to five star characters you know the the ones that has a transformation to five star or as a separate character they are usually of a different path and different element for a d herta huh? the bro does not care bro is just the same element same path as well i said erudition the only thing that the herda and the more oh, oh my god it's a tongue twister the only thing that's different with the herda and the normal herda is the fact that the herda has one extra star that's it it's pretty confusing the herda and the herda from that information though we are able to extrapolate a couple of things to just take a look at all the erudition characters that we have in the game Almost every single one of them are designed to go against multiple enemies. Now, Argenti, someone like him, is certainly designed for pure fiction. If we talk about Jade, she's certainly someone who's designed for pure fiction as well, not at all MOC. But for the case of the newest character that we have in Rappa, she was actually designed not even that well for pure fiction, but rather for MOC stages where there are elite enemies, like especially the triplets there, that you're supposed to break them a lot or frequently. Now, it's not to say Rappa cannot be used in pure fiction, but it'll have to depend on the element as well and then we have the question of herda this is gonna be one of the worries right design wise the herda is uh, the goat it's pretty adorable and pretty quirky you can tell it's herda right there this is the person that would probably commit crimes just to piss you off however in terms of just realistic use case though unless hoyo is going to change the role of erudition a little bit otherwise if we're assuming the herda is gonna be just used in pure fiction or against multiple enemies again then this will be an issue where why would we want the herda when the normal Herda is just really good anyway. I'm still using my normal Herda even in today's Pure Fiction, and as long as I can break them with somewhat of a means, I will be able to use like a good old Herda Himiko combo that is just dominating a lot of 
um, pure fiction stages, right? That does beg the question, what in the world does the herder do? It is the same element of the same erudition path. Therefore, does the herder just, you know, replace the normal herder? If that would be the case, then that would be a tragedy, right? Nobody would really have a need to replace the normal herder when she's just functioning fine anyway. However, though, here's to hope that with the case of the herder, how do you even pronounce this? Is it the or D? I'm gonna call you adult herder. This does pose some concerns with adult herder being just about the same, you know, role as compared to the ice herder that we already have currently. Now, there is an argument where we have some like Rappa where we can see Hoyo is trying to experiment with Rappa being pretty decent even in MOC as well. Perhaps adult herder here is the same case and she may be able to not only be decent against multiple enemies, but she just does good against, say, single target scenarios anyway. What I personally hope is to see a change in the damage priority for erudition characters so that they are more usable in all cases, but that might just make it too strong though. Imagine in a pure fiction scenario, the herder would function just like an erudition character. She does a lot of damage to everybody. That sounds great. However, in MOC though, if the enemy is only one singular boss, I would hope an erudition character like Herda could have something to change with her kit to focus down on one boss instead. However, that also means that every other path does not matter though. Like, this is basically just like erudition path. It's just hunt path that can also do area damage. So I don't know. It might be too strong. There needs to be some form of balance in there if that happens, right? But on the other end of the spectrum, if the Herda is only just a standard erudition character, then it does not look like she's going to be a character that you have to go for considering, well, if you can beat Pure Fiction, which I bet you can, then there are no problem at all for you to just replace your 4-star Herda with a 5-star one. So let's hope this 5-star Herda has got something down her sleeve. It's a pretty thick sleeve after all, look at that. And the other thing that I'm looking forward to would be the comeback of the Ice Element. Ice Element is probably the worst element in the game right now with every single Ice character except for Ron May for only the fact that she's good in breaking. Everyone else like the ice DPS that we have, Yan Cheng, Jing Liu, every one of them are really just not used at all because they're not designed to be breaking the enemy. They're not designed to have follow up attacks as well, which is why they're just not thriving in this meta where it's always just break effect, follow up attack, or dots with this week. With Ice Herder coming back, we might get to see the comeback of even say Pella with the Ice Rush Reduction and skill. We might get to see, and there's a chance the Herder can also be something like a J, where you use your E to buff someone. Let's say it would be buffing Jing Liu, where it's an Ice character, you got that synergy there, double your damage right there. That would be fun as heck. And that would also solve the issue of some characters just straight up being not used at all for me in this recent version. But overall though, this is just the drip marketing. I feel like her lore is gonna go quite deep with some humor as well, like bro's name is just D Herda. And I cannot wait to explore what is the deal with Herda because it is one of the mysteries that we have ever since day one of the game. We never know what the deal is with Herda. We only knew that was a doll and that is not actually Herda, right? But now that we get to see her true self or hey, maybe this is just the other doll. Maybe she's doubling down. This is just the second doll and you gotta get to the actual body and this is not even the actual body. From the lack of creases though in on her thighs and like arms, I don't think this will be a doll. This should be actually Herda. And let's see what the deal is. Instead of the hammer, you got this magical girl wand. I wonder what her animations will look like. And that will be all for today. I cannot wait for the Herda. And of course, before that, we still have Sunday. We still have food. Don't know what they do yet, which in fact, they are also announcing that the special program is going to happen soon right here. It's going to happen in about two days from now. And yeah, it's been a long time coming, guys. There's not that many things happening in the game right now, but oh, it's about to change with 2.7. Then we got Sunday and stuff. New storyline events, rewards, everything. And yep, I cannot wait. And that'll be all. Take care.